What are you doing? What are you doing? After a long drive from our friend in Wales, we decided to head straight for New Haven and catch the ferry back to Dieppe. Once we arrived in Dieppe, we didn't want to do too much more driving, so we headed for the small northern coastal town of Etretat, where we found a beautiful little picnic park up in amongst some farmers' fields, even though Google did take us down one or two quite interesting roads. Today, we're going to explore the town of Etretat and continue our journey south through France, heading for the Pyrenees to cross back into Spain. We came, we saw, we conquered, we left. We are back in France. Um, we're in a beautiful little town called Estatat, if I pronounce that correctly. And I'll give you a quick tour uh, in a moment, but Obviously, the last time we spoke, I think I just left Autovan, if that's correct. I'm not 100% sure. Got to be honest with you, I've not picked up the camera for a couple of days because I know I kept hinting that I was going to visit a friend. Well, I did. I went to see the wonderful Lucy Foster, who is a very good friend of mine uh, from working uh, overseas. And uh, we haven't seen each other, well, I think it's 2018, the last time we saw each other when we went skiing with another group of friends. So I didn't want to, we had a lot to talk about, a lot to catch up on, a lot has happened. It's a very close-knit family when you live and work overseas. So we had so much to talk about that I didn't want the camera to come in the way. So apologies for that. But we had an amazing time. A couple of nights down the pub, pub grub, some booze. One night, I think, even in a tiny, sleepy Welsh village, we were up until half past one in the morning. Um, so we had a lovely time. It really was amazing. Uh, Koa, of course, bonded super well with um, Lucy's dog Rupert uh, to the point that he was a little bit cheeky and got on Lucy's bed. So him and Rupert were having snuggles with Lucy at one point. But uh, it was a lovely time. Uh, and yeah, I, like I said, I didn't film just because I wanted to enjoy the time basically and just yeah, really catch up. So I was potentially thinking to actually stay in the UK a bit longer, but the weather turned, it got very wet, very windy, very cold. And the original plan was always just to get into the UK, get the MOT, get a couple of little bits of work done and then skedaddle back to mainland Europe and warmer climates. So that's what we've done. Um, so now I do believe though that the adventure truly begins because up until now, and I think I've said this before, we've always had a timeline that we had to stick to. You know, we had somewhere to be, someone to see, uh, an appointment to make, and that's all over. So now we can literally travel at our leisure, stop for as long as we want in each place. If we want to spend a couple of days, we can. If we find a great park up, we can stay. We're not constantly having to think where we're going to go. So we are, as I said, back in, in France. We're going to work our way south slowly. Um, I want to spend most of the time in Spain and I'll tell you why in another video. But uh, for now, let's show you this beautiful town we're in. Uh, we've just come back from a wonderful walk along the cliffs with some spectacular rock formation, so I certainly hope the footage has come out. And uh, Koa was able to have a little bit of a run, not too much because of the cliffs and how high we are, but there was an area where he could get off the lead. Um, so yeah, let me show you the town, the walk that we've just done. And uh, I'll catch you in a bit because we're probably going to move on uh, and head a little bit further south. So yeah, enjoy the uh, next little clip.
So this is interesting. Um, we're on our route to this evening's park up, which is a free motorhome area to park, but you pay for services. I don't want the services, that's okay. But it's right on the edge of the River Seine, so it looks really, really nice. Um, and I'm following Google Maps, and you'll probably notice we're not moving. Uh, the maps said I had two kilometers left to go. Well, actually, I'm looking at it now, 1.2 kilometers left to go. And it was saying 20 minutes, or it's still saying 20 minutes. And I'm like, I'm not gonna take 20 minutes to do a kilometer. You know, just following the blue line. Cross the river, saying to the park up. What I didn't notice is that the blue line going across the River Seine, I just assumed it was a bridge. Oh no, it's a ferry. That's quite exciting. Um, it's free. I just spoke to a local French man in his work van and thankfully we managed to work out it's free and the doctor will fit on. Um, so yeah, a little bit different, a little bit exciting. So uh, let's jump on this ferry. Um, and then we'll see you at our park up this evening. So here we are at tonight's park up. Another beautiful little stop. Uh, service is just here on the left. Uh, disposing of waste is free of charge. There's no electricity, but uh, you can get water. You pay for it at three euros, but we're already full, so that's all good. Uh, look at this, right on the banks of the River Seine, there's some little picnic benches, a little book library. How sweet is that? You've got nothing better to do, come and take yourself a book. And then this little lane with the spaces for camper vans, motorhomes. There's the doctor just coming up on the left. And we are the only ones here. How fantastic little lighthouse just there and there is toilets as well I mean seriously Europe knows how to do overnight stops the UK is severely lacking and a beautiful grass area for Koa to run and play wonderful
Okay, so the battery on the GoPro died as I went in the store. So no footage of that monumental moment that I used a QR code to open a locker. But here it is. We found the locker, a little bit of a hunt to find it, but we did find it. And uh, let's see if it's what we hoped for. Yes. Now, are they going to be any good? And you're thinking, what are they? So I have two of them. Clear little plastic trays. And this is the idea. I have this little shelf all around the van. And this is normally where the upper support for the bed would pull out. And I quite often put things up here, but obviously only when we're stationary. But it's wasted space. So, you know what the idea is. These little trays are perfect size. I'm gonna get some uh, 3M tape and stick them down. And then I'll have one here and one here to be able to put lots of little bits in that can then stay there even when we're driving like glasses batteries cables etc so just utilizing every little bit of storage space i can something like this and i can see i'll still be able to pull the curtain across the top so there is a slight problem in that obviously i want these to sit flush and you can see they've got these little feet on the bottom I was like ah oh, no problem it's just a little screw but no it's like a little pop rivet which is a real pain in the bum and there's four on each which obviously mean it's not going to quite sit flat so using my wealth of tools you can see I've got four off already and this is the one I made earlier so that will now sit flush, thankfully, on the 3M sticky tape. That's the plan anyway. Fingers crossed. And a voila, my new little shelves ready to go. Keep lots of little bits and pieces and they ain't gonna fall off. So where are we? We are in uh, Argentan. Let me, uh, let me play Google Translate. This is what Google says it is. Argentan. Argentan. That's where we are. We're not stopping here. We literally, uh, we, we stayed a couple of nights just outside of the, the, the town, city, not too sure. Um, purely waiting for this Amazon delivery. Now we've got that. Obviously we're going to use the facilities. We need to stock up the van because we're going to head a little bit further south, a little bit further inland, uh, maybe towards a town called Tour. Uh, not a hundred percent sure because um, I think I mentioned before, but if not, I will now. We've come away from the coast because the weather has changed and obviously being by bodies of water, the sea, it makes a difference to the temperature, it's pretty cold. So we've come inland and yes, it really is much, much warmer, but unfortunately it's still cloudy, it's still wet, it's still raining and it's forecast to continue for the next three or four days. So we're just making the best of it. Obviously trying to park up on concrete or gravel, um, you know, being in a small van, it's not easy when you come back with a dog, a big dog with long hair that's wet. And so wet is bad enough. I don't want mud as well. Um, so yeah, I also need to try and find somewhere where we could get out for him to exercise. Um, so that obviously will be part of the consideration for the next park up. Um, and yeah, I'm going to get on park for night, see what we can find. But uh, let's get into Le Clerc, I believe it's called and uh, do some shopping. But first, I need to make a list.
collecting our Amazon delivery, fitting the shelves and doing our shopping, we headed off with a plan. But wow, that soon changed. The weather didn't know what it was doing. It was sunny, it was cloudy, it was raining, it was sunny, it was cloudy, it was sunny, it was raining. And we couldn't decide what the best thing to do was. We kept driving south hoping to find better weather. But in fact, it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. So we decided to change our plan completely. The rains really started to come down. So we took a comfort break, regrouped, made a plan and then decided what was best. Turn right, then turn right. your marks get set go hello oh this place is amazing this is what I've been looking for it's just beautiful and it really is one of those places you can see behind me I can just open the door I've got my morning coffee and Koa can go for a run and do his business. So this is just so idyllic. I absolutely love it. I may well spend the day here just chilling out, doing some work and relaxing. So, Koa definitely loved running through his uh, first lot of uh, vines, vineyard. Um, and if you watch, let it be in the next video or the one after, probably the next video actually, um, we're en route to stop at a family run vineyard uh, just to the east of Bordeaux. And um, we're going to stay there the night, it's free, they do a, a wine tour, you get to taste some wine, of course, they want you to buy some, which I'm sure we will. Um, but um, yeah, he really, really loved the, the, the freedom. Anyway, I thought I'd end this video with a very sweet little story. Um, I was in a park up and I got chatting to a French gentleman. 
and we were only talking for maybe 10 minutes, very broken conversation, um, lots of Google Translate. And then he said to me, I want to give you this. And then out of his pocket, he pulled this huge pebble stone. Now, I didn't know anything about it. Um, he explained as best he could, but obviously I've been on Google since. And I'll, again, I'll put a link in the description. But apparently it did start in the UK, but now it's massive in France. And it is basically a permanent free treasure hunt. Um, people paint these stones with all different kinds of designs. Um, yeah, some of them are, are, are turning into art, apparently, if you, if you read the website, the, the link in the description. And um, yeah, the one that I've got, obviously, as you can see, has got this little man painted uh, on him, and it's stone number 32. And the writing is Trouvement Galet 32, which apparently translates as Find My Stone. And the idea is that you find the stone wherever you may be, um, you pick it up and you move it on to a new spot for someone else to find, which I think is fantastic. Uh, anyway, this, this gentleman that I met, I didn't even get his name actually, he said, I want to give this to you because obviously I'd explain what I was doing, the trip I was on, the journey I was taking, and he said, I want you to put this somewhere special. I just thought it was really sweet. So I said to him, I will drop it off when I get to the Picos. Um, the Picos uh, de Europa, the national park, which we're going to visit relatively soon. So yeah, I'll pop it somewhere when we're out on a hike um, for someone else to find and move on and pass on. And I guess these stones potentially end up traveling all around the world. I mean, you know, I guess someone could put it in their suitcase, put it on a plane and it could end up in South Africa. Who knows? Um, I didn't mention South Africa, anything to do with the Rugby World Cup final, by the way. Um, I don't even know who won, but I believe they did. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's, it really is a wonderful uh, idea. And uh, so I just thought I'd end the video sharing that little story. And then we will see you uh, soon. Um, our next video diary will be starting in a town called Njot, um, which is beautiful. Got lots of footage of the, of the castle and the churches uh, and the old town. So I hope you'll join us for that. And then we will be crossing the Pyrenees um, and getting ourselves back into Spain. So very exciting. Um, that's it. That's the end of this diary. Hope it was okay. And myself and Cora will catch you on the next one. Bye for now.